yourself Five eighths wrench, nine sixteenth wrench, either an impact driver or a socket wrench, three quarters inch socket, nine sixteenth socket, and a swivel socket. Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. In today's installation video, we'll be installing rear heavy duty springs on a 95 and up EasyGo TXT or Metalist model golf cart. And one thing I want to point out before I touch or show you how to install these springs are the differences in the two. This is a spring that we carry from one supplier and it's a four leaf design. This is another one that we carry from another supplier, it's a three leaf design. Although this one has three leaves, it could probably hold about 100 pounds more per spring, so about 200 pounds in total, and weighs about a pound heavier. So if you can see the thickness of the, of the metal here, um, it's relatively larger than this other four leaf design here on the right, or on the left. Um, another thing that you might want to key in on is if you look at where this spring is made, it's made in China, so we're really not supporting the economy if we go that route. So this is the spring that we like to sell, and as you can see here, it's made proudly right here in the USA. So what all of our kits include are these three leaf spring design here, and then a bushing kit. So now we're going to do an installation video and show you just how easy this can be installed. Alright, our first step when installing the rear heavy duty springs will be to lift the cart up. Now we're working with a lifted golf cart, so we're going to need to put a block on our jack and raise it up right where the bumper is. You don't want to attach, you don't want to lift it at the rear axle because the rear axle is going to need to move in order to put the springs on. So we'll just lift this up with enough clearance so that the tire is clear. And make sure that you have blocks underneath the front tires. In this case, we have the cart resting against the wall. Once we've got the cart lifted in the air, next step will be to remove the rear tires off the vehicle. Now make sure your parking brake is set so that whenever you turn this, your hub doesn't spin. Okay, once we've got the rear tire removed off the cart, our next step will be to grab a jack stand and just place it underneath the rear axle. This will allow the cart, when, and when you are replacing your rear springs, you want to do one side at a time and not drop both axles at the same time, or both, uh, both springs at the same time. So we're just going to do this side and show you what to do. So what you'll do, is grab a 9 sixteenths and a 9 sixteenths wrench, put it right there, and then we'll remove the bolt on the back side. Next step, grab a 5 eighths, which this will vary depending on if your cart's lifted, but we've got our lift kit installed on this model. that. Make sure you save the hardware. You'll be reusing it. Then our spring lowers like so. Alright, our last step will be to remove this spring back here with a 9 16 and a 3 quarter. Then pull the bolt out. You'll need to save these bolts, but the bushings and the springs themselves will just be able to throw away. Moving right along to our next step in the video, we're going to grab our bushing kit, which we provide in most of our rear spring kits. And then you also notice that there's a spacer in here as well. This will work on the back side. The front bolt already has a spacer with the bolt, so it's already a part of the bolt. So what we're going to do here is we're going to locate this nut and this bolt that go through the springs here in the center and then your shock plate and your axle bracket right here has a hole right in the middle. So this nut and this bolt need to line up with that hole. 
So now that we got those lined up, we're going to take our spacer and our bushing here, put it through right there, then run the other bushing on the other side, kind of clamp those together, and then put your bolt right, right in. And this you'll be reusing the same hardware, so we'll put our nut on there as well. We'll do the same with the front set. You might want to put the bushings in before you put the spring up. It might just make it a little bit easier. But now we got to realign this hole right here. We run our bolt through, just like that, and then put the nut on the other end. Now that we have that done, we're still going to make sure that everything's aligned. And of course, we're, this cart has a lift kit, so we're just going to be using our existing hardware that we had for the lift kit. Putting the washer on, put this nut on. Do the same on this side. Then we'll put the other two in, and then we'll just tighten everything down. Okay, once we've got all our bolts just hand tightened, the first set of bolts that we're going to tighten with our tools here will be the bolts holding the shock plate um, to the rear spring and the axle itself. So we'll tighten these down, and then we'll go ahead and tighten the other bolts on either side of the spring. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to slowly do this to make sure this hole lines up with the bolt down in there. So we'll do a little to that side, move over to the other side. You kind of want to rotate, don't tighten one side, one bolt all the way. Then as you can see, it's really not lined up, so we got to pull it over a little bit and continue to tighten. Once we got it all lined up, we make sure that the spring is in this bracket and in this shock plate here. We'll tighten all four of these up accordingly, and then uh, then we'll just move right along and tighten the other two bolts. Now that we got all four of these bolts tight, next step will require us just to tighten the uh, the bolts on the end. So once we got that one down, we'll go to the back side here. And do the same. Sorry, I gotta use the open end on this side. Alright. I think that one's done. Now all we have left is to put the other tire on and then we'll perform the same task to the other side of the vehicle. Okay, once we've got the rear spring on this side of the cart, I'm just going to give you a little demonstration 
of the, the right height when you do add a heavy duty rear spring because these are definitely needed whenever you put a rear seat or any type of cargo box on your, on your golf cart. So what we've got here from the ground, we're looking at about 31 inches exactly is where this body is riding right now. And we're gonna walk over to the other side, which I haven't installed the rear spring on yet. And we'll show you what kind of reading we have here. And it's about at 29 inches. So with the addition of that heavy duty rear spring on that side, we're gaining about, I'd say about two inches of, of ride height. And also what that is doing is if you notice, this side over here has a lot of play in it because that standard spring just doesn't do justice. But on this side, it's really rigid. So it'll help you with stability and also keep the weight of the extra passengers or cargo from bottoming out your golf cart. Now we've jacked the cart back up and we're going to perform the same test on this other side. We'll do this rather quickly.